Man, got around. OG Sim back here. Hey guys. Unfortunately, there's no tales of victory and glory today, but there are some tales of realness and rawness and, and keeping it a buck with you. I want to get further into the topic of today's video. Let's get cracking. Let's get into it. The reason expats leave the Philippines, man, and I want to tell you from firsthand experience what I've noticed from the expats I've talked to that have left the Philippines and they told me their stories. And this is in no particular order, but I'm just going to go down the bullet points, guys, so bear with me. Number one is it's more expensive than expected. <clears throat> If this is your first time watching my channel, man, I'm, I'm OG Silverback. I've been in the Philippines for two months and one week. I've had a hell of an experience. But, you know, I'm committed to my goals and dreams and aspirations, so I stick it out. I got an amazing girlfriend, lovely Yoni, who has made my life so happy and comfortable and just, man, just... A life worth living, dude. Because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be here. Because it, it hasn't lived up to my expectations. But meeting her, man, I'm, 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 I'm in. I'm in. I'm in a hundred percent. Because she's a good person, man. So, I just want to share this with I've found with the expats I've talked to. It's more expensive than you than expected. You watching all these? You before I came over to the Philippines, I watched about six months of YouTube videos, and uh, I'm not going to give out any names because I don't want. The people that feel like I'm being uh, abrasive or combative or against them. I'm just saying that the intel they gave me was not sufficient for me to face the reality, the harsh realities when I got here by myself, dude. It's not, you know what I mean? And I, that's why that's why on my channel here, I'm converting it to this because if you guys watch my channel and you bring your butt over here to the Philippines, you're not going to be bamboozled or be gowed or tricked. Or none of that. You can, I'm gonna tell you the real about the finances, the, the what it costs, the cost, and everything. So you'll know for sure what you're getting yourself into instead of some fictionalized fantasy bullshit, right? So, like I said, everything is way more expensive than you've been told. And trust me when I tell you. Okay, the next one is it's harder to acclimate to the culture than expected. So here's here's the main thing I want to share with you. And if you're only watching. I love your culture. I love the Philippines, man, because, uh, you know, I love you and you make my life happy. But I'm just being honest here. So this is not a negative thing. So people always say, oh, you know, the people in the Philippines are so friendly and they're so inviting. And I, yeah, when I was in and when I was in Metro Manila at the malls and the supermarkets. Yeah, they're friendly and inviting and speaking English. And hey, good morning. How are you? And how can we help you? And Enjoy your stay and welcome to the Philippines. Yay, all that. But when you go off the beaten path, my friend, and you go away from the big cities and the big metropolises down deep into the smaller cities and towns and barangays and provinces, it's a different experience, man. Here's the number one. In America, and I want to share this with you. If there's any Filipinos watching, I love your country. I think you guys are cool. I met some cool people. But I met some uncool people, and it's just like going anywhere. But one thing I noticed for sure is different in the Philippines. See, America and Europe, these are conglomerations of places where foreigners, everybody's a foreigner, everybody's an immigrant. And this is the main key. I want to speak to you intelligent people that can understand if you've traveled before. And even if you haven't traveled, just step outside yourself and listen to my words. America and Europe is a conglomeration of people coming from other lands, other cultures and races and backgrounds to pursue a better life, whether it's education, finance, working, whatever. So in Europe and America, you're used to seeing people from all over the globe, dude. It's like it's not a big deal. Like I was telling my girlfriend Yoni, in America, there's five major different peoples. There's the black people, whether they're from Africa or Haiti or Barbados or wherever the African nations, even African Americans, and there's white people, whether they're American or European or Scottish or English or Australian or Canadian or whatever, they're, they're Caucasian. Then you got the red people, which is like the Native American Indians, right? They're the red man. And then you got the brown man, which I mostly, you know, uh, 
I'm mostly put in the category of like Hispanic people, whether they're Afro Hispanic or Afro Latino. Hispanic people are normally like brown, and then you got the yellow man. So this this uh, this is the title that the <clears throat> consistence have has have given people. They label the people. I'm just telling you, I don't believe they're yellow, but they put Asians in the yellow category. But in America and Europe, you'll see these five very distinct types of people. Yeah, you got people from Fiji and Hawaii and and all kind of places, Samoa and Tonga and different places, right? The Middle East and stuff, man, Syria, Peru, different places. But I'm saying, in American Europe, you're used to seeing immigrants. This is the way it is. The Philippines is different, dude. The Philippines is a nation of Filipino local nationals. Yeah, in the big metropolises, they got Filipinos that are rich that have traveled all over the world. They got this thing called uh, Overseas Filipino Worker, O. Oh, FW, Overseas Filipino Worker. And they go to Dubai and Japan and stuff like that. So they're exposed to what it's like to be a foreigner over there. And some Filipinos have been to America. But the majority of Filipinos never traveled outside of the Philippines. And they live in their little um, uh, provinces or barangays or townships or regions, right? And the reason this is important, dude, because when you're a foreigner, man, they just like... You know, they just stare at you, dude. And it's not a welcoming stare like, you know, like, like I'll, I'll give you an example. When I lived in California, specifically like Los Angeles, I would see people that I didn't even know what they are. And I've been around all kinds of people. And I'm staring at them in an inquisitive way. But, you know, I don't want to be uh, rude just staring. I say, hey, excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. But, I mean, what is your nationality? Because I've never um, seen a person uh, the way you look. And I'm just curious. And the hope is not offense. Oh, no. We're from Laka Laka Woo Woo and we got Laka Oh Hawaii, like this. And you're like, oh, thank you very much. But in my experience, and it's not negative, I'm just telling you, you got to have thick skin. Like people just stop and stare at you. And it's not a smile like, you know, it's more like, like this. And it's very um, disarming. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, if, if you're not... If you don't have a thick skin, bro, it's just it's it's a weird feeling, bro, and it happens every day, all day. Um, and so that's what I'm trying to say. They have a culture of they'll just stare at you. They don't give a fuck. They'll just stare at you like, what the fuck, you know what I mean? Whereas in American culture, European culture, it's rude to just stare at somebody. Here, they'll just stare at you. It's just how they do it, you know what I mean? So it's just it's just how it is, and you got to get used to that, you know what I mean? And then as far as like the friendliness and stuff, I want to talk to you about friendliness, California style and Vegas style. So I'm gonna give an example of my lifestyle. In California, whether I go to the supermarket or the mall or Starbucks, dude, or I go to the gym, let's say the gym is where you lift weights and do exercise or I go to the dojo where I do martial arts, right? Or just walking down the street, man. You got people to say, hey, good morning, and how are you, and hello, and hey, how's it going? And it's a lovely day, shit like that, right? That's California, you know, California, by Vegas is like, hey, how's it going? And good morning, good afternoon. It's really hot today. That's just people speak to you here. I mean, I'm just saying, I go out of my way to speak to people, but dude, it's not reciprocal, bro. It's not reciprocal. So I'm just sharing with you. People, I don't know where you guys are from, you foreigners, your expats be like, oh, the Philippines is so friendly and everybody's so embracing. I'm I'm not talking about Metro Manila. I've been there and that was people do speak to you there and all that stuff. But it's a different dude, it's a different vibe. These are capitalists, commercialists. Like either they either work in the malls or they have businesses where they interact with foreigners and they're trying to get business from you, so they're gonna speak to you. I'm talking about my experience of going, living down these smaller cities and towns and the provinces where, hey, I've been down here for going on two months and I've only seen three foreigners. Yeah, my whole time I've only seen three foreigners. And that's okay because I'm embracing the culture, but I'm saying I don't have that, I haven't felt the most welcomed here, but you know, I love Yoni, man, and she makes my life happy. So it's all good for me, man. But I'm just saying if it wasn't for her, I don't like this kind of feeling. I would move probably back to, I'll be honest with you, even if it's cost prohibitive, I would move back to Manila or BGC because dude, every day I saw foreigners 
and the Filipinos there was just very friendly. I don't know if it's because of their business people or whatever, but like, like good morning, good afternoon. It wasn't no um, mangandango, maga, none of that. Kumustas is like, hey, good morning. Hey, how are you today? Hello, like this. So anyway, that's just my experience. Um, the next one is uh, people are less friendly than expected. You'd be watching all these videos, everybody's so friendly, dude. I'm telling you, I've lived in some neighborhoods, man, where the way people looked at me, bro, if it wasn't for my size. And I'm, a, I'm sort of an imposing figure. I don't mean to be. I'm just, I've had a rough life, guys. I've had a life full of fighting and killing and and just fucking uh, aggression, dude, and uh, combativeness, right? And training for competitions and working out. I've had a, a rough life and it shows on my face, you know what I mean? So uh, that's that one. And then the next one is uh, it's less English spoken than expected. Dude, I'm, I'm, I've already covered that. Everybody don't speak English like, like they say if it wasn't for Yoni. You know, I don't know. It'd be hard because I'd be trying to talk to people in English they don't understand. And then uh, it's way more crime than expected. This is the main one, bro. Dude, there's so much crime here, man. It's fucking crazy. And then people, these YouTubers, and I'm not picking on anybody because I don't want no smoke, so I'm not going to say a name, but they'd be like, oh, it's less crime in the Philippines than in the United States. Or maybe statistically, this is true. And maybe where you live at, this is true. But I don't know where you guys is living. I'm living down here in the small towns and the provinces and the barangays. I'm off in the beat. I'm down in the hood. So this is what you guys are going to say. Oh, well, gee, you picked the wrong places to live. And Okay, maybe you're right. But listen to this. Nobody should make blanket statements that, oh, it's less crime in the entire Philippines and the people so friendly when it's not true. What the, this is the correct statement, guys. Hey, guys, this city I'm in in the Philippines, the people are very friendly, and I haven't seen any crime in this city where I'm living. That's a fucking true statement. All this blanket statement that this, the Filipino people are so friendly and it's less crime is a fucking lie. <coughs> because I've lived in some places where I'm in a fucking taxi and you're going like to or through an intersection and there's some homeless criminal drug dudes on drugs and gang members and the taxi dude locks his doors, bro. Choo -choo. And then he says to my girlfriend, Philip in Tagalog, hey man, there's some dangerous people and they'll run to the car and pull the door open and rob your ass. I've been driving through some neighborhoods trying to get to the mall and it's just like you live in any other city you got the nice area, but then right next to it can be the bad area. And then the the, the, the grab driver is telling you, hey, man, be careful when you go in there. They be, if you got a ring on your finger, they'll chop your finger off. And if you got a watch, a nice watch, they'll chop your hand off to get the watch. Or they'll take a knife and stab you to death, man. So I'm just saying, guys, you know, this is the reason that expats leave the Philippines is because... And I'm not upset. I just want you guys to get the rope for me. You're watching all these other YouTubers who are not giving you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. They're not telling you like, hey, I'm here on vacation in the lovely Philippines in the city of Manila or the city of BGC. And this is my experience while I'm here on vacation. Follow my fun journey. Today we're doing this and that. And I'm in a safe area because this is a big city. And it's a lot of foreigners. They don't tell you. They just tell you, yeah, I'm in the Philippines and it's so friendly and there's no crime. Come on, man. That's why the expats is leaving. Why am I staying? They ask me. Oh, gee, if it's so bad, why are you staying? Bro, I done been in worse situations than this. You know, plus I got Yoni in my life. She makes my life very happy. So I'm not worried about all that stuff, man. I ain't worried about it. Like I see, I've been in some crime areas way worse. I've been in the war zones way worse than this. I'm just saying that the picture they painted to me like it's some fairy, some fairy tale town where you got a bunch of elves and fairies and, and, and little nice little elves and stuff and little smurfs that love you. It's not the reality. And when expats, when the reality hits them, bro, it's so devastating when the reality hits you that if you don't have a strong constitution like me or you don't got a lovely girlfriend like Yoni who loves you and, and takes care of you, you will flee from the Philippines. So, 
You take it for how you want to take it. You guys can leave your comments. But if you haven't been here and lived here, I'm not talking about you vacationer. Shut the fuck up. I'm talking about lived here. Then skip along, little poopy pants, because you don't know what it's like. You don't know what it's like the real of living in the Philippines away from major cities. And actually, I don't even think you have the stomach for it. So, till next time, hope you sit back. I don't know.